Two months ago, you posed questions to me in which I stated I would respond within a month. It's almost two months later and here we are as promised. So let's get started with the questions. Question, what is your opinion of stupid goofy comedy? I feel it's not understood by most critics and internet fans. Like it can't be funny unless it's clever. Bit of a puzzler on the question there. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Are you talking about movies like Dumb and Dumber? Or are you talking about more of a parody films like Hot Shots and The Naked Gun? Either way, I love them. I mean, Airplane, Naked Gun, Zoolander, Austin Powers, all those kind, Happy Gilmore, those are some of my favorite movies of all time. And I, I do think they're stupid and goofy, but they know they are. And there is a lot of cleverness involved, a lot of play on words, a lot of um, pop culture references, but they do it in a smart way. So yeah, I absolutely love them. I'm not sure why critics hate them. They have a stick way too far up their ass, I think is the bottom line. Matt's asked, I'm not sure why it's Matt's. Is there two of him? Maybe he means Matt and his last name starts with an S. I'm not sure. What is your favorite film outside America? Favorite foreign film? Uh, Pan's Labyrinth, I guess. I'm not sure if that's considered a foreign film or not. It's in subtitles. I, I don't know what you know equates to that. I also like a film called The Host. It was a kind of a horror flick, horror with a little bit of dark humor to it. Uh, check that out if you haven't. Awesome name here. Gibson Crandall asks, how do you feel about the quality of blockbusters that have been coming out lately? For me personally, I've been pretty disappointed and have found myself liking a lot more of the smaller films. I agree, Gibson Crandall. I think I'm kind of the same way I am with indie games too. I feel like I've had more fun playing some of the smaller joints there. And I think it's mainly because these blockbusters seem like they have all these checkboxes they gotta click. Is it a certain runtime? Does it appeal to a mass audience? Does it make sure to have one edgy swear word if it's rated PG-13? Are there loot crates? Is there DLC? Are there all these different components that have to go in? So it feels like it's a committee film. Von Gressel asks, how do I find your Pokemon Go video when you went camping with your friends? And also, what music do you listen to when you're grinding levels on your RPGs? Uh, two questions, neither of them will be related, which I'm trying to stick through here, but since you brought up the Pokemon Go video and it's not on this channel, I will selfishly promote my other one, Adam's Take 2. A few months back, I rebranded. This used to be called Feud Nation. Now it's Adam Does Movies, um, because YouTube was really punishing me for not focusing on a specific uh, conversation. And since movies is my number one passion, I went that route, although games is a close second. Sibo asks, how do you manage all the different aspects of your life? Job, YouTube, working out, family, etc. P.S. Absolutely love you and your channel. Keep it up, man. The answer is simple. Very little sleep and also not a lot of fun free time. Apple asks, hey Adam, is there a director whose entire body of work you absolutely hate? For example, I hate Hack Snyder movies because they are usually heinous and unwatchable. Also, why are you so hard on Sheila? She's basically holding this channel together single-handedly. Sheila is garbage. She's long gone. I can assure you of that. I even took off that end card where I yell at her because I just refuse to acknowledge her anymore. As far as Hack Snyder goes, you're being, I think you'd be a little harsh. He's got some great movies. If you, I mean, 300, take it or leave it. I, I personally take it. I eat that shit up. Yum, 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 yum. Love 300. Dawn of the Dead remake, one of the few remakes I absolutely love. See it, it's fun, it's simple, it's quick. Gets the job done. U Bowl, or UA Bowl, I think is how you say it. Biggest hack director on the planet. I don't think he really even gets to make movies anymore, and if he does, they go straight to DVD or digital. He's responsible for every bad video game movie. Um, like, well, they're all, they're all bad, actually. Two part question. The superhero movie genre is at a point of oversaturation. Do you think it will go the way of the Western and die off as casual interest wanes? Also, do you think the genre should end with dignity or continue in perpetuity as long as fans keep buying tickets? Yes, I'm very annoyed of it. Yes, I continue to see the movies. Yes, I miss Westerns. I don't want it to die off. I think that they definitely need to slow the roll though. Calm down on making every single one of these comics into films. And, and get some other types of movies out there. As far as casuals losing interest, I don't know if that's happened yet. I mean, we're, we're seeing really terrible movies be very successful. Suicide Squad, for, for sure. I mean, that movie made bank. They're gonna make more of that crap, and it's probably gonna do well. I, I definitely want them to slow down, though. And as far as have it die off or, you know, go away altogether, definitely not. Just calm the fuck down with it. Hey Adam, from worst to best, how would you rank the following film franchises? Mission Impossible, the rebooted Star Trek series with Chris Pine, and the rebooted Planet of the Apes trilogy from 2011's Rise to 2017's War. Love your content. I've already done the best and worst of Mission Impossible, I believe. I think I did number three as the best. There was a lot of pushback on that, but I don't know, I like that. I felt like that was the one that really started 
the quality Mission Impossible franchise. Number one was a good movie. Two was, was pretty stupid, the John Woo one. But three, I felt like hit the tone. That's J.J. Abrams. He, he, he just does what he does. He waves his wand, makes some magic for you. Um, but I thought all of them were really good after three. Three and after, so. Yeah, three, then maybe five, then four, then one, then two. Star Trek, the rebooted franchise, I'd say one, two, three, maybe? Or one, three, two? I did a versus, actually, of those three also. Do you even watch this show? I did that one also! Planet of the Apes, I go two, one, three. Three, I thought was hugely disappointing. And I know a lot of people that defend it. But it's called War of the Planet of the Apes, and there's no war in the film. And don't give me this bullshit internal war, internal struggle. That is not what they advertised. That's not what these films were leading to. I don't want to hear it. Favorite Indiana Jones movie? Last Crusade, obviously, the, the superior Indiana Jones film after Crystal Skull. Joking. Oscar Leon asks, will you ever do a food feud again? Nice to see you around still, Oscar. Nice deep cut. Unlikely. Very unlikely unless this show manages to somehow get some popularity and I can focus on making more content for my second channel. I would love to do it. Anthony Rivera asks, what's your opinion on anime? It's not a very high one. Don't really care for it. Haven't really given it much of a chance though. Ghost in the Shell, is that an anime? Does that count? Um, Akira, that's a thing. I don't know, I, don't, I hardly watch any of them. I've seen maybe four anime movies and I haven't really watched any TV shows, except for Dragon Ball Z. That, that's anime, right? Loved Dragon Ball Z in all 600 seasons of its confusion. It was a good show. Marcus Jackson, what was your favorite subject in school? It's not a movie question, but I'm gonna go for it. Art, took a lot of art, I was a big art buff. I can't tell you really anything about art history or you know what, what painting is by what person. I just love to draw. I love to use the pencil to paper, things of that nature. I am a, a senior front-end designer and developer for, for websites, so I, I do know how to create beautiful pictures from time to time. Do your friends and people from your life watch your videos? They do, and pleasantly enough, it's people that I don't expect to. Like, I'll see uh, some friends and family at a reunion of sorts or just a get-together, and a cousin I haven't talked to in a year is like, Saw your video last night on so-and-so, it was really funny, and I was just, I'm just thrown back. I'm like, oh, that, that's awesome. My wife hasn't watched in years. She's lost all respect for me many moons ago, and I respect her for that. My kids don't watch, but I refuse to let them. It's very inappropriate. Black Widow or Scarlet Witch? You stupid son of a bitch. You just couldn't let it die. You just couldn't let it go. I refuse to choose between one of these beautiful princesses. I refuse. Once again, my wife doesn't watch this, but I would care for them. I would treat them with such respect and such honor, and I would lay them down so lovely. I just don't honestly think I have a right answer, but you know what, gun to my dick, I would have to go with Black Widow. I'd have to go Scar Joe here. As much as it pains me to have to walk away from, from my witch, from my Scarlet, it's just how it's gonna be. Favorite Pirates of the Caribbean movie or rank them? I'm not big in the Pirates movies, that's why I haven't even done a feud on them yet. I still will, I, I'll do that at some point, I will. I just... <laughs> the first one was a pleasant surprise. I came in with no expectations and I, I thought it was alright. I thought it was, wow, a movie based on a shitty ride at Disney was pretty well done. Can you solve a Rubik's Cube? You'd be amazed how stupid I am. Can't even get a side filled. Have you ever thought about doing more rants or older terrible Marvel DC movies? I still do a rant on occasion on my second channel. I threw one up maybe a month ago. I do plan on doing more, so subscribe there and if you like those, for sure. I will get more of those out. As far as older DC Marvel movies being terrible, I did a whole fucking comic book movie bracket. I covered over 100 films doing versus episodes. So you should be able to find what you're looking for there. How much input does your wife have on your channel? She'll toss out a comment on occasion saying, Hey Adam, you should do Stranger Things 1 vs. 2, it would be popular. In which I would say, no it fucking won't, you don't know the internet. I put that video out, I'll be lucky if I get 3,000 views. Because everybody and their mom is doing a Stranger Things recap video. And you know what, I did put out that video based on her suggestion and I got just shy of 3,000 views. So I know what I'm talking about! 
Unfortunately, I don't really know how to get anything more than two or 3,000 views. Have you watched The Defenders and what do you think of it? No, I don't watch a ton of TV and I definitely don't watch superhero TV shows. I always find them to come off as campy, really low budget. The closest I got to a quality superhero show was Daredevil and season two I thought even started to get a little bit corny. Jessica Jones just did not have the budget I think it needed. Not bad, but no, I haven't watched a lot of those kind of DC Arrow, or is that Marvel? I don't care. Could you do rant videos on older movies that were really popular years ago, or maybe even TV series that started good then went bad, or even well-known directors or studios that make terrible films? Yes, random dude, I could, I should, I would, but I haven't. And I think that sometime in the future I will get to that because there are plenty of directors, especially that I've been disappointed with lately. Adam, what is your idea of horror? Doing a YouTube show for over five years and not being able to muster 50,000 subscribers while your competition continues to flourish with hundreds of thousands of subs and views with little to no effort put in, definitely worse quality, and a zero fucks given attitude. That's my definition. What's yours? Adam, what is your all-time favorite game system? Mine is the Sega Saturn, by the way, for all the zero of you wondering. Love the Sega Saturn, still a proud owner. I have it sitting in a bag over there. Don't believe me, I'm gonna get it. Hang tight. Sega. Not even plugged in, just sitting in a bag, collecting dust. Pebble Beach Golf Links. That's the last game played. Craig Stadler, The Walrus. It's a quality game. One golf course, Pebble Beach. Love the shit out of this game. Played it a ton in high school. Yes, high school. Uh, Saturn Bomberman is the best Bomberman of all time. Good games like Guardian Heroes. You had Panzer Dragoon in the sequel. Virtual Fighter, Virtual Cop, things with virtual in the title. Bug. That game with the skeleton dude, Beku Beku, which is a Tetris game with animal heads that ate each other. There was a ton of good shit on this system. Love it to this day. My favorite system of all time, though. That's tough because that I, now I am now I'm just holding this. Now it's an inconvenience. It's tough because it just works with your age, I think, more than anything else. I mean, as an adult man. I barely find time to play games anymore. I'm, I'm going through Mario Odyssey. Yes, I bought a Nintendo Switch after bitching about it to no end because I'm, I'm self-deprecating and you shouldn't trust anything I say. Love Mario Odyssey. Bought it, bought it basically for that. I had a Nintendo, I had a Super Nintendo, I had a Genesis, I had a 64, I had a Saturn, I had a PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, still have it. I, I don't know, man. I, I was a Sega guy. Sega Genesis gives me a lot of memories. Um, I did have an Xbox also. I've had pretty much all the systems. So I, I, this isn't an answer, really. My GameCube. I loved my GameCube. I loved my Dreamcast. I played the shit out of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I played the shit out of, uh, what was it called? Soul Calibur. This is a movie show, though. I'm supposed to be doing movie questions. How dare you for sidelining me like that? We'll move on. Don't have an answer. Would you be interested in a Logan-style Spider-Man 4 to give a better ending to the Sam Raimi series? I would be very interested in a Spider-Man 4, but not a Logan-style. Spider-Man, especially that universe, is not R-rated. It's not dark, it's not brooding, it's not gritty. And Spider-Man 3 tried to go that way a little bit, but it's still very cartoonish and campy. Sam Raimi, his style doesn't work, I think, for that. And I think he should just continue with Spider-Man 4 and give us closure with another kind of cartoony fun film. There can definitely be drama. All those movies have drama and they don't need to be Logan. Adam, what is your absolute favorite classic film movie? I don't know what we're calling classic. Are we going by generation, like age? Like the 70s or the 80s? Are we talking like, you know, Psycho or American Graffiti, Citizen Kane? Uh, or are we talking like Jurassic Park? Because Jurassic Park is my favorite movie. Or one of, it's a top 10 for sure. I, it's very hard for me to pinpoint a favorite. I do love The Matrix. I do love Fight Club to no end, but Jurassic Park is definitely what I think of when I think of just Hollywood magic up on the screen. It's full of wonder, it's full of excitement. It's got great effects, solid dialogue, a ton of great one-liners. So yeah, Jurassic Park. 
Do you like The Last Action Hero, one of my favorite movies in a movie that was ahead of its time? <laughs> this movie gets brought up by me every so often when I'm having a conversation with friends or just random strangers I see on the streets. I'm like, hey, have you seen The Last Action Hero? I hate that movie and I've tried to like it so many times. I don't know what it is because Last Action Hero has everything I would love in a film. Arnold Schwarzenegger is in on his own joke, which is himself. It plays off of all these 90s kind of tropes that you see, but yet it was just sloppy. It did, the jokes didn't land. The action wasn't very exciting. I don't know. I'd rather watch True Lies, honestly. If you could pick one Avenger to live with for a month, who would you pick? That's really tough, but I'm gonna go with Hawkeye, I think. He seems like he's the most kind of well-adjusted individual. He's a dad. He, we'd be able to have a conversation about something without him insulting me or just thinking about himself. I mean, Thor is super vain. He doesn't help around the house, so he would be a shit roommate. He'd help me with, you know, like a workout routine, but Hawkeye's in shape. He gets it. Uh, Captain America would be so boring. I don't think I would be able to like play video games with him or really watch a movie. He'd have this kind of agenda to everything, I feel like. Um, I just realized that I could have said Black Widow or Scarlett Johansson, but I immediately went to the men. Hmm. That, that's interesting. That's something I should probably... Which is worse, Ghostbusters 2016 or Emoji Movie? Emoji's far worse than Ghostbusters 2016. Ghostbusters 2016 is just insulting to the property that it's representing. It's, it's a very lame film across the board. I don't think it's terrible, I think it's bad, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Emoji is just fucking trash. What made you start your channel? Oh, my love of films. I saw what other movie critics were doing. I thought I could maybe do it better or at least do it differently enough. And uh, so far, neither is really, really the case. Lastly, if you could save anyone that has died in the history of cinema, who would you save? These are some good questions. Alan Rickman. I love Alan Rickman. And I would love if they did more Harry Potter movies and he could be involved in them. Gotta have my Snape back. Gotta have my Hans Gruber back. And as far as I know, he hasn't sexually harassed or raped anybody. So he's already far above a lot of Hollywood people today. Adam, do you work out? I mean... Come on, of course, I, of course I work out, come on, look at me. I'm an Adonis. How many times have you seen Dirty Dancing and how do you feel each time you rewatch the scene when Baby jumps into Patrick Swayze's arms at the end? Finally, what are your expectations on the new Blade Runner movie? It is very clear that I should have had this done over a month ago and I apologize. I've already shared my thoughts on Blade Runner in a couple videos. I thought it was a, a very well-made movie that is too long. Uh, I've only seen Dirty Dancing 1. I don't care about that film. Okay, so what's your favorite X-Men character? Wolverine, without a doubt. Hugh Jackman edition. Hey Adam, would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Read it carefully this time. Go fuck yourself, Cam. Most underrated and overrated movie. Most underrated movie, Speed Racer. It's awesome. Most overrated movie... What's Wonder Woman at currently? Is Hawkeye your favorite Avenger? James Skinner, you stupid son of a bitch. You read my mind. No, he's not. But I did want to live with him for a month over the hot females for some unknown fucking reason. Hmm. Maybe it's because I just love my wife so much. I wouldn't even dare put myself in a situation with these lovely women. Because I wouldn't be able to resist. The temptation is too, too palpable. Too exotic. Too enticing. Too other kind of large words that probably don't make sense in the context I'm using them in. I suppose Iron Man, Tony Stark, he's, he's the one that kind of made this whole thing exist to begin with and he is a damn, a damn fun time. What are some movies or shows that you liked when you were younger that don't hold up for you anymore? There's probably quite a few, although I don't watch a lot of them anymore. I recently did see Blank Check again. That movie sucks. Which character would you be in The Lord of the Rings? Which character would I be or which character would I want to be? Legolas, obviously, is the choice I'd want for myself or Aragorn. Um, but I'd probably be like one of the shitty hobbits, and not even the good hobbits, like Mary or someone that's off in the background sweeping. If you were in a horror film, which stereotypical character would you be? I'd be the smartass that knows the rules of a horror film and then is killed in the third act. I definitely don't get laid in the film either. Favorite movie of all time? Favorite trilogy of all time? Well, I already said I don't really have a favorite movie. I, I have a lot that I like. Shawshank Redemption would be up there as well. I think it's on a lot of people's lists and that's for a reason. I don't care if it's cliche, it's for a reason. It's a beautiful film. Favorite trilogy? Whew, that's tough. So many of them become disappointments. Well, it's not, it's, not, it's not tough. Lord of the Rings. 
Lord of the Rings is so fucking good from beginning to end. Star Wars is a great trilogy, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it holds up like a lot of others do. I think it's a little rough around the edges now. Lord of the Rings, though, mmm, it's magnificent. Planet of the Apes was surprisingly a good tro uh, trilogy, too. It's way better than it has any right to be. The Matrix, uh, that, that's a tough stumble into the finish line. Which dance move is your favorite in the Adam Dick dance? I find myself going to this one a lot. I don't know if you want to call it the guitar, the guitar. I, I don't know. I really like this one. Uh, the Pepper Grinder Solid 2. I do like the Neck Snap or the Snake Bite, whatever you want to call it. It's got multiple names. Really, I, I love all the Dick Dance moves. They're, they're just so good. Favorite Edgar Wright film? Mm, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. It's not even close. Love it. Which movie universe would you want to live in? You're a wizard, Harry! Harry Potter. It's a Harry Potter. I want to be a wizard. Could you maybe go through your best to worst of Marvel really quickly? You only made it to Avengers 2 last time. No. I love your dry wit and self-deprecation. I find it hilarious. Have you ever thought of doing stand-up comedy? I think you would kill it. I've definitely thought about it, but I think I'd have a hard time with the naked masturbation in front of the women after hours. Uh, that's, the t that's the tough part. I'm pretty sure that's something that comedians have to do. Back to Cam's stupid question. I would rather fight 100 duck-sized horses. Uh, he asked me this question like a year ago. I butchered the question and answered wrong. So here we are again. He won't let it go. Is this even a competition? Like they're fucking tiny little horses. What are they gonna do? Their their legs are their leg strength isn't isn't even a, a thing anymore. They're not gonna be that strong. I kick them. I kick like a dozen at a time. I throw I throw a karate move at them. Whoosh! I take one out this way. Whoosh! I drop the elbow. Whoosh! I put the knee up. Whoosh! I snap a couple of heads. Whoosh! Whoosh! I pound a few into the ground. Whoosh! 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 I Hulk smash a few of them. One horse sized duck is a frightening experience. That thing gets one good shot with that bill, with that beak at me, and I'm ghost. I'm on the ground, I'm not getting up. I, I just, I, and where are we fighting? You know, does this duck have access to water? Then it's for sure game over. I just don't even see that. This question's stupid to begin with, Cam. That's why it took so long to give you the answer. And I see by my imaginary clock over there that I'm almost out of time and I have to get to a pizza party at a bowling alley for my daughter's swim team that I don't want to go to because I'm an adult now and have a lot of things to do. So, I'm sorry I didn't get through all the questions. There were a ton of them. I'm sorry it took so much longer to get to this. I want to do it once a month but feel free to ask more questions that I may at some point get to in six months from now. I really do want to make this a monthly thing, I swear, I do. I just have to find time to focus on it. If you're a Patreon and you're at that $20 mark and have a movie suggestion, I haven't done it yet, I apologize. I do have them ready. I think there's two of you that I still have to get to. I, I'm, I'm, I'm preparing, I'm writing scripts, I'm doing a lot of things for you, just be patient. And I love you very much for supporting me. Even, even if you're like a killer or something, I still I still love you for this. We can have this together. I'm drinking a Monster Energy drink right here. This thing costs $2. Throw one of these out. It's a bad habit. It's filthy. And support a local creator such as me. I support a couple people myself on Patreon. You can look. Thanks for watching. And I, I hope to get to some of these questions again soon. I look forward to seeing what you have to say. Take care.